Hi, I'm David. I'm a PhD student in uh, materials engineering, and I'm going to be doing a problem from the MSE 101 final exam from uh, 2013. So this is problem five. Um, it reads, a one kilogram sample of a 30% weight gold alloy of the aluminum gold phase diagram below is solidified under equilibrium conditions to 649 degrees Celsius. Part A is, what will the primary phase be? Okay, so this is the equilibrium phase diagram here. Our first step is to figure out which region of the phase diagram we're in. So let's start with the alloy composition. We know that the overall composition is 30% gold. So I'm going to mark this point here and label it C0. And I'm going to draw a vertical line up from here. Okay. So next, we know we're at 649 degrees Celsius. So now we need to find this temperature point along this composition line. So we can see this part of the plot is labeled 650 degrees Celsius, the eutectic line here. So we're right below that line. So I'm going to draw a little point right here. OK, so clearly this point falls into this region here. So this region is sandwiched between the pure aluminum and the pure aluminum to gold phases. So, so this region is going to be composed of a mixture of the two of these phases. Okay, but which one is the primary one? Well, if we consider an equilibrium cooling process, so we start up at a high temperature where our alloy is liquid and cool it down, we notice once we cross this liquidus line, the aluminum to gold is going to form, is going to solidify in this region. Okay? And as we continue down this line, more and more of the aluminum to gold is going to solidify until we cross this eutectic point where the remaining liquid is going to go and undergo a transition to make this eutectic aluminum and aluminum to gold. So therefore, our primary phase in this case is going to be our aluminum to gold. Okay. So part B reads, what will the mass of the primary phase be? So since all of the phase, the primary phase in this case, is formed before this eutectic transition, we only need to consider this region here slightly above the eutectic line and within this, this region here. So I'm going to draw my tie line just slightly above the eutectic line between the eutectic composition, which is about, we'll label that as CE, and it looks like it's about 8% from the diagram. And that's going to go to the composition of the aluminum to gold, which we'll label C aluminum to gold. And that's roughly 78% on the diagram. OK, so if we want to know the fractional amount of aluminum to gold prime, we just apply the lever rule in this case. So we look at these two sections here. And then we know the fractional amount Aluminum to gold prime is going to be equal to 30 minus 8. Divided by 78 minus 8. And that is 0 0.31. Okay, now the question asks for the mass. So our total mass is 1 kilogram. So our mass of primary aluminum to gold is going to be equal to one kilogram times the fractional amount. And that's 310 grams. Okay, part C reads, what will the mass of aluminum to gold in the eutectic structure be? So we know previously we found the amount of primary aluminum to gold. So all we really have left is the eutectic aluminum to gold. So really all we need to find here is the total amount of aluminum to gold, subtract the primary phase, and what we're left with is the eutectic. So let's now draw a tie line. Let's look at the entire amount of the aluminum to gold. So I'm going to draw a tie line right at 649 degrees Celsius, intersecting the point I drew earlier. Okay, so we see again this intersects the aluminum to gold transition here at 78%. And this looks like 
about 1%. We'll call this C aluminum. Okay. So then once again, we apply the lever rule to determine the fractional amount of aluminum to gold we have relative to the aluminum. Okay, and so this is going to be 30 minus 1 divided by 78 minus 1. And this is equal to 0 0.38. So once again, we're looking for the mass. So the mass of the aluminum to gold is going to be equal to 1 kilogram times this fraction, 0 0.38, which is equal to 380 grams. So if we recall from the last question, we determined the amount of primary aluminum to gold was 310 grams. So the mass of our eutectic aluminum to gold is just going to be the difference. which is 70 grams. Okay, part D reads, unrelated to this specific alloy composition, but still relating to this alloy system, calculate the composition of the intermetallic aluminum gold. So we can see the aluminum gold is actually labeled right here on this line. Okay. And in order to find the alloy composition, we just need to take the ratios of their atomic weights. So, and this is all, you can just look this up on a periodic table, but this is about 27 grams per mole for aluminum and 197 oops, grams per mole for gold. So let's try to find the weight percent of aluminum. In that case, aluminum is going to be, so weight percent aluminum. Aluminum will be in the numerator then. So this is 27 all over the total, 27 plus 197. And we'll multiply this by 100, so we get a percent. Okay, and this is equal to 12%. And therefore, if we have 12% by weight aluminum, then we have 88% gold. So our composition of aluminum gold is equal to 12 weight percent aluminum and 88 weight percent gold.